Please excuse the mess, the sonar feed appears to be having a few difficulties. Bienvenidos a Sonar Feed! Had to throw it and welcome in Spanish, folks. Welcome, welcome. Special edition <laughs> Sonar Feed. The last episode with Hugo ever on it. <laughs> I'm going get it. I'm going to make sure I really enjoy it. We are on episode number 143. Wow. How do you say that in Spanish? 143. There you go. Uh, the El Tree is a cheater still show. The champs of champs. Oh, man. Yeah, all right, all right. But here we are on episode 143. Uh, we are joined tonight by a uh, longtime friend of the show. Um, actually, your first actual visit on the show live here. Uh, we did uh, a broadcast years ago at the party, at the annual party yeah. for, for Gorilla FC. Um, uh, Kevin Zelko, a.k.a. M's Beer Vendor on yeah. Twitter. Welcome in. And behind me, another special guest. Uh, the last week, in theory, that it will be here in Seattle, which we'll talk about here in a moment, the, the Supporter Shield. Oh. Last week of this year. It'll be back again in 2017, 2016, right. 17. But it's going away, going home to or to its new its temporary new home. No, no, no not a home. This is its home. It's temporary. We're, we're not gonna let it get yes, a vacation true, time yes. right now. Yeah, we're gonna let it leave go its nest a for a little while. Go, go check out the the sites. I I am uh, Aaron Riley, aka Sonar Riley. Across from me is uh, Hugo Garcia, aka at me be the Seattle. And this is Sonar Feed. So again, welcome in, Kevin. Yeah. Thank you, thank you for joining. Uh, you have had um, quite a. Interesting couple years, obviously. Um, Want to talk a little bit about that, if you don't mind. Here, get the guilt. Tell, tell people a little bit about you, who you are. I'm sure most people know who you are, but let's give them a little bit of like the uh, the Behind who the is scenes. Kevin and yeah. and you know you obviously you got well, a, a, a nice pretty hat on there from from Big Al Brewing. Uh, great, Shout out great to Big beer. Al, White great Center, beer. baby. Yep, White Al, Center. Yep. yep. So uh, tell us a little bit about you, your history, and uh, kind of where you're at, and all like, and then we'll go in and we'll talk a little bit about this bad boy over here. Wizards, wow. Wiz, 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 that's right, that's right. Uh, and then moved to Seattle and uh, became a Sounders fan and, and was lucky enough to meet wonderful people in the community uh, and eventually found myself as a founder of a supporter group for LFC, uh, which uh, we are going on our sixth or seventh year here. And um, out of that, just met lots of wonderful people in the Seattle Sounders scene. Uh, and then started meeting more people in the MLS scene through some other involvements with, uh, with the ISC and other groups and just kind of really connected with MLS fans all over the country. That's cool, man. And out of that, uh, the Supporter Shield has, has, has come about, was renovated with one of the projects that uh, I helped build. And uh, then uh, out of that, i also... Talk up a little bit closer for real quick for me, real okay, quick. we can do that a little closer. Uh, out of that, I'm a beer vendor. Hold on, guys. One second here. A little bit of a technical problem there. Turn me up. Yep. Are we on? There you go. Are we good? There we go. Uh, but I'm also a beer vendor for Seahawks games, and I uh, love to support the Seahawks by bringing Golden Delicious beverages to Seahawks fans. I was one of those fans that saw them at the game. I did. I oh, really? Yeah. Nice. I, we got yes. you an 875 Bud Light. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it was great. It was great. When uh, you're at the stadium... <laughs> Everything's great when the Seahawks are winning. <laughs> I don't know if they were winning at that point. Though. No, they were losing at that point. I think. Were they? Probably. I think it was no. before the game that I saw you. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that could have been. So they were tied. There you go. Still good. Uh, and then I uh, started working with Big Al Brewing of late. Uh, I, before I was lucky enough to start doing that, um, even luckier, uh, I beat cancer in uh, April. Um, and go. so... Oh, yeah! <laughs> I, I, a year ago from pretty much this week, uh, I found out I had Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, it was the hardest thing I've ever year. Do. That was only a year ago? It was just a wow. year ago. That's how lucky wow. I am. I mean, it's purely that lucky. Wow. Uh, a year ago from this time, I was itching, and it turned out to be a symptom of Hodgkin's lymphoma. Uh, itching to the point of wounds. Um, wow. My doctors eventually like, couldn't tell me what it was. Uh, I injured myself while, sell while selling beer at a Seahawks game. 
And out of that injury, I found a lump in my arm. Uh, it turned out to be a Hodgkin's lymphoma. We found it at stage two. Finished up some chemo, some radiation, and I'm very lucky to be clear of, as of April, June. Wow. So it's wonderful. That's incredible. That's yeah. So it's that's been, it has been kind man. of a wild uh, couple of years here, as yeah. I said before. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, because when I, um, when I came to pick up the, sh the shield from you, and I think is when you had just announced it last year. Yeah, I remember. I, I uh, went to pick it up and meet with it. You dropped it off. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the, 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 my first, re, my first uh, touching of the shield, per se, was when uh, we won it. Yeah. And I got to give it to Brad Evans uh, on the field after we beat L.A. Uh, a week later was when I found out that I was, you know, had Hodgkin's lymphoma. Jeez. Pretty crazy. Wow. Yeah, it's a crazy week. High, low. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> All your fandom highs and everything else, and then, yeah, reality of life. But you have a good, strong support network. You, th you threw a... Uh, a tremendous party uh, in February for your birthday, uh, yeah. your 40th birthday. Yeah, uh -huh. I hit 40, and uh, my support team, my, my friends, uh, uh, my partner, uh, and everybody, and all the, all the Sounders supporter groups helped me raise $25,000 uh, that, that day. <laughs> yeah. uh, Roger Levesque was uh, MC, yep. and uh, it was a wonderful night. That's yeah. awesome, man. Yeah, that's, I unfortunately was on business trip, and I missed it, which killed me. I mean, <laughs> watching all the, all the stuff from far, uh, so... But I'm so happy to hear. That's, that's a good, that deserves a cheers here. Uh, cheers, con man. Congrats, Kevin, for <laughs> you, uh, you know for beating cancer. I mean that is uh, fantastic. Kicking its ass. Kicking its ass. I just feel very lucky. And for anyone that's going through that, uh, I send big hugs to you right now. Absolutely, because we 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 have tweeted out and said on the show many times. Hashtag fuck cancer. Yeah. Fuck uh, cancer. It's, fuck it's something. Cancer. That it's it's so it's great. Um. Uh, I'm I'm happy to hear. I'm glad you're sitting here and doing well and doing well. And you said you're 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 clear. You're good. You're yeah. You're yeah good. I, just, I had one of my routine checkups, and the doc says keep going forward. Um, Great. With Hodgkin's, it's one of the rare kinds of cancers that can come back. Uh, so you kinda, it can. Uh, yeah, you have, yeah. I have a 25 percent chance of okay. experience it again in some way. Okay. Uh, so we're hoping I get the three bags that are empty. That's good. That's Let's what we go. want, right? Let's go. Um, <laughs> so then, the other thing you did was you did a, a summit the shield this summer right and so you raised a bunch of money for again for charity again yes uh, that that was for the fred hutchinson society fred Hutch, uh, okay uh, and we uh, we, uh, we pretty much after i was uh, declared cancer free uh that was late late or mid-june uh i gathered my friends together and said who wants to climb mount rainier uh who wants to do it for breast cancer research and we raised, uh, you know, forty-six thousand dollars in uh, just about three months. Uh, wow! For, for Fred Hutch. That's so. fantastic. Wow, dude. So just shy of seventy-five thousand. Wow. Very. And yeah. Wow. This calendar year. This calendar year. Uh, it's been a great network, and all the Sounders community did that. That's fantastic. So and here, here we were all happy with our, you know, twenty thousand over the last couple of years. But <laughs> damn, that's fantastic. It's dude. amazing. I that is feel so lucky yeah, like, to, to have seen it work that way. Mind blowing. Whoa. Yeah. That's, that's badass. And dude. after after that doing that, badass. we climb Mount Rainier uh, once the funds were raised, and uh, that supporter shield has been to the second highest point in the continental United States. Yep. Wow. That's great. And now you. And that's not an easy uh, climb. No. Yeah. That's no, like, you 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 sent me a note, uh, and unfortunately with my. Now, former job, uh, we're, we're going to start up. Yeah. I had about zero time, and I was traveling and uh, entertaining clients, et cetera, and drinking and not exercising. And you asked me to go, and I would have loved to have had I had more than a month. <laughs> 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 that was definitely, definitely a big issue. And yeah. Ultimately, uh, I, I made it to Camp Muir and spent the night there. Okay. Uh, my, my physical level uh, being you know, two months off chemotherapy, radiation, uh, I wasn't fit enough to yeah. keep up the pace sure. that would be needed to make the full summit. Yeah. So I stayed the night at Muir, and I wanted that uh, that 26 pound object over there. I wanted to make sure it made it. So I said, "Hey, I'm staying home, or at Muir, you guys go on." And uh, they, they they did summit it. That's awesome. Did they take the actual case with them? Uh, no. no. The, How did they wrap it up? The, the, the story of it's really wonderful. Uh, what happened? Uh, a gentleman named Troy, who is one of our guides, became uh, the Frodo of the group. And he carried it in a backpack that wasn't very comfortable. Um, so there's a wonderful picture that we've, uh, we've posted that shows him at the very top of Mount Rainier holding it, hugging it. Uh, there's a little bit of anger in it, but it's like he's so, <laughs> glad, he's so glad to go to that next level of like handing it to the group. And they had a big group photo with it. Yeah. Uh, and, and then he was so happy to get it done. 
um, we're the group that that went up and helped raise the money and, and did the work. We're going to make a Flavor Flav version of the shield <laughs> no. that we're going to give for him that'll be it's made out of cardboard, so awesome. yeah. not 26 pounds. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, that thing is not light. Yeah. No. So <laughs> I've you've carried it around, I've yeah. carried it around. You know, it's been in my house, et cetera. So it, it's not. And my son wanted to you know, pull it, right, which he could pull it on cement, but uh, it is not light. So that's impressive. That's yeah. really – so. Again, Troy, well done. Good hats job. Off, man. Hats to, to off. you, Troy, the whole network. Like you said, yeah. it and it is the network. That's one of the things about the Sounders community. Uh, we found, like, so yesterday they did the uh, Zach Wani, uh, did his uh, amazing fundraiser, uh, which unfortunately, just coming back from a week at, at Disneyland, there was no way I was going to be able to make it, unfortunately. I can imagine. I, I didn't want to do I didn't, I didn't want to do the night. <laughs> I'm so tired <laughs> still. <laughs> from di- six days with kids at Disneyland. It's a lot, but that's what's great. So they raised, I think, twelve to fourteen thousand dollars last night at the Zakawani uh, event, that's great. Uh, which is fantastic. How much? Somewhere between twelve and fourteen thousand. Wow! Uh, I haven't seen the final number, but I saw something earlier, and I don't remember what I saw. Um, so it, it's cool. It's just you have all these events, and all the month of September, the Sounders did an amazing job with t- t- Taylor Graham and Katie and. Zakawani and Roger and blah blah blah, blah everybody mm-hmm. going to visit people and being there and I, I just yeah it's in between the games and everything they still find time so man. amazing to me mm-hmm. and it's so it's what I love doing I love being involved in that community. yeah yeah it love is really neat. That. I've I've been uh, I've visited some uh, some cancer patients that were uh, in some really hard times and you know that he was amazed that Taylor Graham came and visited him that That's, you know th- that day before. Yeah. And so I said, hey, what can I do? I can, can I bring this shield? And, and we did. But he was so happy with, uh, awesome. yeah. with Taylor coming. That's so awesome. So. A drink? You want, you want a drink? Yeah, I'll take a, a take Glazo one special? with uh, some Sparkle, sparkle donkey. donkey. Yeah, yeah a Glazo Sparkle Donkey. Thank you. All right. So, okay. So that's talking about a little bit about that. Um, you, you mentioned um, ISC, okay. which some people don't, I don't think, know about. Yeah. Um, it's a group. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you my layman's version of it, and then you can fill in the real rest of the details. Basically, the, it's the Independent Supporter con, uh, Council. Council, thank you. <laughs> I was trying to think all the words that start with C, <laughs> and I lost them. Uh, and it is a group of supporter groups, basically, from around the league. Not every supporter group uh, uh, participates in it. Is every team represented? No, th- no they are not. Uh, Montreal just, uh, just won't, won't join the party. So they're, they're the only one so far that doesn't yeah. have a representative. Yeah, okay. every other team. Orlando, New York City, yeah, FC. Were, they're all involved. Okay. So. All right. And then lo- uh, locally, obviously, it's it's uh, just Gorilla, I believe. Uh, or yeah. no, is East, d- does East side have any? Response? No, they didn't. Okay, they didn't. Okay, they didn't. just Gorilla. They, they applied early, but uh, things didn't work out. Okay. All right. So just Gorilla has their lo- the, uh, locally. And it's um, open to everyone. Everyone, right. any group can always apply. Okay. Right. And they've, they have uh, the reason uh, East side isn't in. Uh, at the time, there were some stipulations that involved, you know, entry into the group that are no longer there. Okay. So now it's a very they've kind of figured out a lot of things sure. through through going through you know growing. How growing long was fun. it around? How long has it been around? Uh, it started in t- uh, 2010 was okay. when the ISC started. It actually the very first meeting happened at the MLS final that was here in 2009. Oh. Okay. Um, that was the first meeting, and it w- did, they didn't have any formal structures. ISC wasn't the name. But it was a, uh, there was a call for supporters at the Seattle MLS final uh, that said, hey, let's do something. We're, we're hit, we've hit that stage of growth where um, we're no longer you know, just kid stuff. Right. Um, so everybody showed up. Like, I think there were 13 teams represented at oh, wow. that first meeting. Uh, and everyone got a free copy of FIFA. Um, and it, it, what came out of that was the initial stage of what the ISC became. Yep. And really, what's behind us here, as you alluded to, this pretty beautiful new shield. Let's go. Led to, and there's actually two of them, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Wait, wait, two, two shields. Two shields, right? Or there's two cores. Is there, that what it is, or two what? what? Oh, okay. When you when you when you, no, there, I mean, there's one trophy. Right. There is uh, two pieces of metal that people print the name on. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, okay. So that piece, um, I was hoping that I could reprint Sounders FC twice, but. I'm sending okay. that after the, it's officially clinched. Yep. That piece will get sent by the winning team okay. to uh, the same people that work with the Stanley Cup. Okay, great. And they engrave it, and then or they engrave the old one, yep. send that, and they keep this one. Gotcha. So, okay. And it catches up the next year. Nice. So, okay. That's great. Okay. Uh, but that's kind of that. And so um, the, the shield itself uh, in 2011 
uh, in Portland. Um, we all met and uh, as a group, and at that one, we had 18 of the 19 teams that were in the league at that time uh, represented. And that was when we all sat down and said, hey, let's look at what this group of supporters can actually achieve. Yep. And wh what everyone said is, um, let's do this supporter shield. Like, let's all work together. We're going we're gonna to fund it by selling scarves. We're going to you know, get a supporter to design it. Uh, we are going to take the old shield and incorporate it in the, in the current shield. Um, and we need to do this. And the reason why that the old shield wasn't quite up to par was uh, a, a wonderful man named Sam Perone in uh, 1999 out of Kansas City um, raised, I think it was around like $6,000. And he built the old shield. And the old shield, if you look at the trophy, is just a, a marble or a metal version of the uh, very inner image. Okay. Uh, yep. It was about, um, you know, two about two or three of these wide okay and uh it, it was a little meager for what we are now uh Got you know it. all of us are yeah. all of us work in groups and we can accomplish a little uh shinier things these days and so that's what we came up with like let, let's renew this uh there's also a little bit of a backstory it got beat up by a group of fans in uh in miami um miami's team was disbanded Oh. And uh, they were angry about that. And so the fans who were no longer connected to the MLS or anyone around uh, kind of weren't very nice to the trophy, and they mailed it back to the next team who won it uh, in not perfect shape. So those were kind of the reasons why the sh we decided that the Shield was what we wanted to take on and, and grow upon. Uh, and so that happened in Portland uh, as a group, and uh, Timbers Army was the, first, the hosts at the time. Um, everyone came and we agreed that the next year, um, and these, uh, these ISC meetings, uh, they usually happen in February, once a year, uh, everyone's invited and uh, every team can, can, can be represented. Um, but uh, those meetings are some of the funnest times of my year. Yeah. Uh, best year of the off season, indeed. Uh, and uh, so that's what we did that year in Portland is we came up that the following year, which was in Kansas City, we would have a new shield. That's great. And so that, that happened. Uh, and so this is the third year that the shield will be ah, used as the shield. That's great. This, this is the third year. The third year that this shield. This shield. Okay. Yeah. This right. This is so awesome. We're number yeah. two. <laughs> right. uh, New York was the first one last year. And uh, if, uh, if New York beats Toronto on Wednesday, and then if they beat the Philadelphia Union, who have been eliminated, uh, they will win the shield. Okay. Which, you know, if it's got to go anywhere, I'd rather have it go to back to New York than maybe to L.A. Yeah, that's for just, sure. Just saying. Yeah. Yep. Just saying L.A. Yep. fans. <laughs> or, yep. or Portland. No. The me. only way Portland, no. the, the, the reason, and, and is, is it true that the only reason why it was hosted in Portland is that the only chance they're ever going to get to hold it? <laughs> uh, much. I'm just kidding. No, no you're not. <laughs> Pretty good. No, uh, I'm just kidding. No, yeah, not. it's funny. So, uh, you know this, yeah. uh, and the friends, the our, our our viewers know this. Look here and watching. Uh, we we are very much the uh, uh, hashtag frenemies, right? We have friends, as, as you do, <laughs> in, in basically every uh, every city, you know, that has an MLS team. Uh, so, so, uh, some cities we have more, but in Portland, we have a lot of fans, that friends down there. That, that we like, you yeah. know, we don't like them on game day, of course, yeah. but or or for the ninety minutes. Yeah. Uh, but uh, well, there's some of them I don't like at all, but uh, yeah. but uh, but we know we do. We love them, and it's it's fun to talk about. It's you know, great I mean, rivalry. It is. Oh, it no is. question. It's more yes. of a, I like the all inclusive. So and that's why that that's why those those ISC conventions are just so neat. Exactly. Um, I, when I go to go when I go to games in different cities, uh, I might not see them before the game, but maybe after the game or the next day, meet them for breakfast. Yep. Um, they're some of the best friends you can have. You have exactly. so much in common with them. You know, yep. We're we're growing a sport in a in a, in a country that uh, it hasn't been so easy to make that happen. Yeah, and it definitely exactly. has a sense of of camaraderie, being you know like you said a part of the community of, the, of a sport that the rest of the country kind of like looks down upon. Yeah, unbelievably. Yeah, but it's like yeah, you know when you see oh you, you like what? Yeah, let's go. It's like an instant bond. So it's, I definitely understand that for sure. All right, good. Anything else on the shield? We'll come back. We'll, I'm sure we'll circle back a little bit. But yeah, yeah. I really am bummed. I have to deliver it. I know. Yeah, um, that must suck. We've been good friends. Um, I, I the last thing I'd kind of like to throw out on the shield would be um, our group in Seattle has done such a wonderful job in uh, taking care of it, but also uh, maybe kind of setting the bar of yeah. what uh, the shield represents. Uh, for for our group, uh, we helped raise you know almost 
almost $80,000 via charities using it. Uh, we also took it to the uh, highest point in Washington. Yep. So I, I would hope whether it ends up in New York, uh, whether it ends up in LA, whether it ends up in Vancouver yeah. or you know wherever need be, maybe if Dallas gets it, uh, that they take yeah. it to some kind of a high I, yeah. point too. Not LA. I agree. No, I agree. And that's we we got it early, relatively early on uh, for a, a sonar feed for one of our shows, and the people just came streaming down for the show. It was yeah. so cool. A lot, a lot of people didn't stay, didn't care, but they came in, they got their pictures, they <laughs> loved it. Uh, and then we did it for our when we do we do our annual FIFA tournament, and it yeah. was here, and people loved to take pictures with it and hold it and see it, and it it, it, it is so great to have people be able to touch it. I took it, I had I, I had it for that weekend, so I actually took it to my wife's school, and you know the one that one of the, the teachers is a huge Sounders fan, huge Sounders fan, and he was like. Heck yeah, I want my kids to see it. So I mean, it was great. You know, I mean, it was just and to be able to take it around and have people see it and touch it and feel it, it was really yeah, cool. Yeah, dude, it's so yeah. mind blowing. Like, and that's what I love about it's a real you know, turf- our trophy. It's like you're so in touch with the players, the team, the community, the trophies. Like, uh, yeah, like literally, it's the same trophy that the players are raising yeah. on the pitch. Yeah. Like, Let's go, and now we get to, we as fans, we get to, like, touch it, hold it. Yeah. You're so connected to that. Like, like you said, when you gave it to Brad, right, and yeah. saw him go over his head, <laughs> and then Ozzy takes it and runs it with it over his head, and I'm like, oh, it must be light, and then I pick it up, and I'm like, oh, I can barely pick it up. <laughs> so, oh, my God, yeah. man, that's so awesome. It's great. Yeah. It so, is. So. I, uh, I wonder if Niasi can lift it. That's. I don't question. know. That's a good question. <laughs> he might not be able to. Yeah. I, it might be a little bit tough. <laughs> So, um, so, all right. So let's, okay. Speaking of trophies, we should probably get this out of the way because otherwise he's never going to shut up about it. What are we talking about? What trophy? What trophy? <laughs> what trophy? It what? really is. I was kind of small. I was highly disappointed. It was so small. So yeah, Saturday. Oh, we're going to talk about yeah, hashtag the Yeah, we're going to talk about it. But real quick, actually, there's a question that just came in about the, the supporter shield. How many hun- 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 how many honey badger shots fit on the supporter shield? One. Oh, what? oh, there was because all the rest of them were hot donkey. <laughs> so we were careful. We did. We put some stuff down, but a lot of people got. There was some controversy on the shield. People eating off it or doing whatever. Like you, uh, you know about you know about the. Um, the Stanley Cup when they do the Stanley Cup goes around. I mean, people do all kinds of weird. George, for that matter, when we got when we got the uh, you know the Cascadia yeah. Cup came back, uh, we drank champagne out of it, which yeah. was the dumbest thing I've ever done no, in my life. No, no, it was great. It was awesome. It I, was don't fanta- regret, oh, I, agree. I don't regret anything. I don't regret it, but it was probably the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. That spot on my lip hasn't left. <laughs> um, but you know, so yes, we there was a few drinks that were sure served off it. Yes, there were. There was a lot of them. Definitely. Yeah, but again, it's, we were respectful of it. Believe it or not, we yeah. were. We did have respect. I took good care of it. Don't, if whoever gets it next, don't use a scarf to clean it. Yeah, do Please, not. Please, do not right? use a scarf to clean it. All right, so let's talk about Mexico. Let's you go! Add. Oh, yeah! We'll do a brief. Let's go. I, uh, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. No, 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 no. I watched the game from my phone. I'm so happy right now. Let's go. I I wanted U.S. to win, obviously. Yedlin's pass to Bobby Wood was gorgeous. Oh, that was that was, was a fantastic. Hell of a pass. I mean, it was like when I saw Bobby Wood coming in, I'm like, what? Klinsman's lost the plot. Whatever, right? You know. But then Bobby Wood was in the right spot. Yedlin had a beautiful, Be- through beautiful pass. Yeah. And I, like I told you guys before the show, I was at the airport waiting for my baggage to come, and my daughter was holding my phone. We were watching the game on my phone, and I yelled. Like, I screamed, and the whole baggage claim area looked at me, and my wife was yelling at me because I yelled in her ear. Uh, it wasn't that loud, really, but, you know, the whole place turned around and looked at me. And I was like, I yelled, yes! too. I yelled, too. And then we were, we were going up the elevator, and as we got off the elevator with all of our bags, Mexico scored. The, the, the wonder goal. Wow. Beautiful. Uh, Beautiful goal. What a game. I mean, so yeah. I, you know, again, I only got to watch maybe 15 minutes of it total, 20 oh, minutes of it total. That's all. Uh, no, it was a great game. But man. I heard the night the, after the one one, which is when I took off. I took off right as we scored the goal. Nice. So I saw one one. Right. 
I didn't see anything else. I heard that other ne- next 90 minutes was all pretty boring. It was back and forth. There was some good play, yeah, but, it yeah, back it was, and, but it wasn't anything special. I mean, there, there was a couple shots. There was a couple good shots, uh, but uh, yeah, it was back and forth. There wasn't anything like, oh my god, but it was a good game. It was a lot of uh, back and forth, but it was good yeah. quality action. I'm biased. Mexico was probably playing a little bit better. Oh they, no, they were playing way better. Yeah. Everything, everything I heard yeah. was yeah. Mexico. Mexico had the control of the game. Yeah, and it, the fact that it was one-one, the fact that it was two-two. Correct. Wow, what yeah, a better we were, game. We were, we were like my dad and I, because I was watching with my dad. We were like, oh my god, God, don't let us lose after we played this well. Yeah. <laughs> Not again. Don't do this like the World Cup. Don't do this. And when they scored, man, and they tied it, we were like, oh, here we go, man. So, back to our conversation we had a few minutes ago. I'm obviously a U.S. men's national supporter. I wore my U.S. men's national team shirt on the on the airplane home. We were all ready for it. We we're decked out. But knowing you is a bad influence that, and bear with me for a minute. This is for you and for everybody. It's, it's like when you have another supporter group that you don't like, another city you don't like. Yep. I still, like when RSL lost their game recently, I felt bad for a lot of the RSL fans because that meant their season's basically over. They still have hope, right? They have a little bit of hope. But I got a lot of friends in Salt Lake, and I'd like to see them leapfrog, come in and play them again because they're a fun team to play. Or maybe like a Super Bowl where the quarterback is from your college you know, oh God. right? Hello, How hello. How do I can incorporate Tom hello. Brady into the Mexico versus hello. the U.S.? Are you serious? So the fact that Mexico won hurts me as an as an American, as a U.S. men's national team fan. But a really good friend of mine, a brother from another mother, and his family, your dad, especially, yeah, got dude, to witness. He was crying, dude. It was. Uh, I it can was imagine. Awesome. It was so, so awesome. Was, I'm just saying that's like, my little. It's like, my little like. I, I didn't feel. I was sad, but yeah. I wasn't like. If we'd lost to the, the, the Netherlands or Spain or whoever else, that, that would have been like, ah, I don't have a necessarily a ten, a ten right. with you, dude. So congratulations yeah, and much to love, you. Thanks, man. And shout out to everybody. Like, I got so many like congratulations. It was overwhelming. Like, I've been getting a lot of doses, Saros, and it's like, oh, you have man. where <laughs> for the last two years. Did you like get my tweet to you Ceros. with the two U.S. <laughs> flags and no zero, no Mexico flags? <laughs> Dos Acero. As many, uh, you know, as, as many Dos Aceros as I've gotten, yeah. I got a lot of awesome comments, yeah. like congratulations. Oh, yeah. Everybody was, like, real cool, even though, you know, and it was, like, right after the game, too, so there's still a sense of, like, ah, but it was, it was it was cool, man. I, I'm just happy. I sent you a text. Yeah. Yep, yep. And I think a tweet, too, or a Facebook. Yep. Congratulations. I'm happy for you guys. Yeah. For, for, for Don Gama, if nothing else, yeah, he got a chance too, to. Man. For him, this, you know, he doesn't have, he doesn't follow soccer, uh, baseball or yeah. Seahawks, and he's not a big MLS fan. Yep. I try and try, but yep. he's just, you know, he's, he's old school. He's, yep. He sticks to, and then the only sport he really follows is the Mexican national team, man. Yeah. And this script team from Mexican League, this Atlas, but who cares about that team? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to tell him you said that. <laughs> I'll tell him. <laughs> Oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That's, that's right. That right, was though. your guys' anniversary coming to the states. Yeah, dude, it was awesome. That it, Saturday it was, was that yeah, day. Yeah, same day. So, I, like, right after the, right around the time that they scored, actually, and they and they finished the game. Was when you landed. Around ten at night is when I first landed and and came into Seattle for the first time. That's awesome. After I hadn't seen my dad for like two years as a kid, because he, wow. he came up here first to save money and get things going, and then help us get come up come up here. So. Dude, uh, that's cool. awesome. Yeah, that makes it, it cool. makes it even better. Yeah, it was, I'm, I'm so, like, I was like, man, this is. I've been waiting night. all day to kind of give you a hard time and <laughs> the cheaters and all that crap. But really, you guys played amazing. It was, game. That's a cool part and, too. That yeah. it was a good game, man. Like, yeah. it was a good game. Even though whatever one one side did play a little better, it was still exciting. Yeah. It was two two. It was gonna go into penalties yeah. and then a great goal decided. Like like everybody said, man, if it was something that was gonna be finished, I like hate that, that guy though. And you know he played it with a yellow card the whole match. I know. He should have had a second yellow card, yeah. just because. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, I'm just glad he's cool. All right, so um, I think this is still Kyle here uh, asking, what do you think of the Miguel Herrera to coach the U.S. men's national team rumor? Have you heard about that? The U.S. men's? Yeah. Shut the hell up. Uh, that, no, no. Kick said we got to get rid of, you know. Everyone said uh, Klinsman's got to go, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. there's only, a rumor. He only, like, got you to the I mean, World that Cup. That wasn't official. It didn't yeah. happen. He only got yeah. to the World Cup. But there's a rumor like about Herrera coming to the states. There's two. There's, no there's two way. branches, though. There's two branches of the rumor. One rumor is U.S. Men's National Team. The second branch is Chicago MLS. Fire. 
So what do you, what would you think about Herrera coming to the States? It wouldn't happen. Not, you don't think happen. it's going to happen? No way. I don't think it's going to happen for the men's national team. Yeah. But what about Chicago Fire? Uh, Holy it. crap. Doesn't Blanco have an in on that? Blanco? Yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I would love it. I would love to see him in the MLS. I mean, it'd be cool he to would have be a hilarious character. In the MLS. Exactly. Um, but you know what's the He would not part? do well. I don't know if you guys knew, but the coach for Mexico... That was his, uh, well, he's playing one more game, but he only agreed to four ge- four matches for the national team. Oh, really? And after Tuesday, they play another, uh, I think, Panama or something. Uh, he's done. And they already hired another coach. Okay. He was an interim coach. Yeah. I knew he was interim, but I didn't know Yeah, he- and he's, he's done, and they brought, they're bringing in a Colombian coach. Oh, really? So uh, it was interesting because I was like, man, now a lot of people obviously like want to keep him, but it's a done deal. They're going to bring in somebody else. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right, and the other question here, um, so many people on Dempsey for that match. To me, Josie was worse. Guy doesn't work the keeper at all, doesn't try to play passing on defense. But, I mean, again, I only got to watch a very small uh, chunk of it. So What's your D- Dempsey didn't look good. I mean, he didn't look no, good. Didn't get to watch it. Okay. Oh, you didn't? Uh, nope. Well, I thought Bradley was the worst, okay. in my opinion. Yeah. It, was, it was Bradley's bad play that made Dempsey play bad, too, I think, because he yeah. kept turning the ball over yeah. so much, man. He was just right. inconsistent. I was thankful. I was like, man, yeah. thank God he's playing like crap. But um, he was just—he was bad, man. Yeah. Um, I thought Yedlin again. I only watched 15 minutes of it. Yedlin, some of Yedlin's passes were good again, no. like he's been doing. Watching him play for for for, for Sutherland, uh, and it, it was—I loved it in the one match. Yeah. <laughs> but but I love to see him. I like him in that mix there. Yeah. And I don't know why he why he wasn't in there. So. Again, I'm partial because I love Yedlin. Of course, uh, I'm, I'm definitely a homer when it comes to Yedlin. Uh, definitely, yeah. the, that's you know that's when they scored. Yeah, uh, he brought in the energy. Yep, he got in the speed. He uh, he shut down our left side completely. Yeah. Even when we brought in this guy, who's uh, the Mexico has a guy named he goes by Little Tecate, Little Tecate, yeah. the beer. His nickname yeah. is Tecatito, Little Tecate. Tecatito. Tecatito, yeah. that's awesome. And uh, he's known to be like a super talented. Can juke anybody and make space and then create the scoring opportunities, yep. but shut him down, man. Didn't do anything. And this guy's pretty good. He's playing in Porter right now. I think he's already scored like a couple goals for them. So, uh, yeah, I think Yellen deserved to get more playing time. But it's easy uh, to say that when he you. comes in fresh after everybody else has been playing 70 minutes in super hot weather. So, thank you, sir. Yeah. So I w- so I was at Disneyland all week. I think I told you that earlier, but it it was. When we landed Saturday, it was hot, right? It was like 85, gorgeous, beautiful Sunday with Seattle. 70 degrees. It rained. It was overcast all day. This is a week ago. Fucking awesome. Every day got worse and worse. Well, worse and worse for, for Seattle guy. It got hotter and hotter. And Friday, it was 105 degrees. And then Saturday, it was 103, or roughly wow. 102. So when I saw the forecast, I'm like, we're screwed. I, I didn't think we had a chance. I mean, so to be 3-2... To be in the game at all, we don't. Pl- that's not. We don't play well in that kind of weather. And it was. We were talking earlier. Sixty-five, thirty-five. You, uh, Mexico. Yeah. I mean, it was definitely a home game for Mexico. Uh, in my, I mean, when we knew that going however, in. However, you know what? Uh, from those numbers, it's definitely like the least home game that yes. they played in. The, yeah, I agree. Uh, for like a big, huge, you know, I mean, Columbus is in, different because that's Columbus. That's yeah, thirty-five thousand or twenty-five, like twenty thousand or whatever. 20, yeah, 000. my friends who were there said it was amazing atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. well, right. and, and what I like is AO and uh, uh, Sam's Pancho Villa's army. Yeah, Pancho, Pancho Villa's Am- yeah. Pancho Villa's army. Thank you. <laughs> the two they they both all week were were focusing on respect. Yep, it's just about a game. Co- co- it's just yep. a game. It's let's work together. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we hate each other for ninety or one hundred and twenty minutes, blah blah blah. But it was a let's not good. do yeah. stupid. Let's not be yeah, crazy. I, I, major props to both of them, man. Yeah. Uh, I was impressed. Done a really good job. They've, you know, the, with the imagine, imagine the the, yeah. the match and the, the expectations. Yep. Uh, but it, it was so cool to to see you know, when it's all over ninety three thousand people. Yeah. On a Saturday in the middle of college football season. Yes. Major ba- major league baseball yep. playoffs. I mean, and you have ninety three thousand. I'm sure it was probably the most watched soccer game of the year. My, I would my have guess. to believe so. You know, it's up there. Um, that's awesome. And all, only thirty eight arrests is what I believe I read or that's something not, like that, which is that's ridiculous. Insane. For I mean, I, 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 yeah. I know. I was like, I think I think that's right. And a lot of them were uh, drunkenness. Obviously, one was right. gra- one of one of the one of the tweets I saw was wait till Grand Theft Auto, or wait till FIFA has a Grand Theft Auto un- unlocking because somebody stole a, th- a car, I guess, <laughs> wow. at, at, at the game or you know after the game. Uh. And uh, anyways, it just I I was impressed with the overall. Yeah, there was no major issues. Yeah. 
unlike Dallas yesterday where they where a guy got uh, killed, yeah, not killed, crazy. shot in the parking lot that's after the crazy, Cowboys game, man. and people were egging him on like, oh, kill, shoot him. I'm like, anyway. So to hear that, I was worried about the yeah. Mexico U.S. game, you know, just because there's a lot of dumb people there's out a, yeah, there. Yeah, there is, man. There is, people, but like on both said, sides. That was, it was cool to see that. Uh, Beasley looked bad. Uh, uh, you streamer seventy two oh six Kansas City guy Beasley Beasler too man he's I thought Beasler looked worse than Beasley uh, I, agree. I actually I like Beasley I thought he played well, okay well because he played good for you no <laughs> no no he did he did well man he had no, a couple he was of good rough. stops yeah but he was um, rough and there was one where uh, I think Dempsey gave him a pe or somewhere maybe it was I don't know yeah he but had but, a, but Kansas City Beasler I he's I don't know. That was a handball, man. That was it, was a double, it was definitely it a handball. Was you know, All day. I was like, that was a handball. It reminded me of the when you drove to L.A. and I flew to L.A. And Mr. Windmill, Aaron Johansson, did the – it wasn't that bad, but it was that same kind of a – you got to keep in. Yeah. There was another – a couple of plays, not in this game, but in a game I just, just watched where – all the guys were like raising for handball, but he kept his hands in, you know, yeah. and he did exactly what the ref told him to do. Yep. That's not a handball. When you do this or and you're, you're like out this, flapping, yeah. it's a handball. And it should have been. I agree. Uh, um, it should have been. It was interesting, no, though. No, no. <laughs> two players, uh, Beasley for the U.S. and, uh, oh my God, I can't, believe, I can't think of his name right now. He's a legend. Horrible, horrible. Uh, Marquez. Uh, unbelievably, they both played in this game. I mean, they're really like, yeah. they're both like 36, 38. Yeah. It's their last. It's definitely, it definitely is their last time ever playing in this rivalry. But it was pretty cool to see both these guys who had been through the whole last fifteen yeah. years, literally, man. Yep. Uh, legends, just straight legends. And Marquez played a hell of a game. I don't know if you saw him. He was at midfield. They put this guy who was a center back. Yeah. In the midfield as a, as a defensive a mid, and he he nailed it. He he did a great job. So, uh, Seventy-two of six does it can make a comment. Miss he, uh, Beasley missed the fifty-fifty ball that led to the winning volley, and that really he took a chance. With a minute and a half, two minutes left that he didn't need to take, and that that's really what cost us the game. Yeah, yeah, you're so that's right. why that's why you're, you like him. I, yeah, I get uh, it, but yeah. uh, I didn't even, honestly, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, they did. All the goals can now be decided. Uh, jersey connection with <laughs> the La Tree. So you're a Sonics fan too, aren't you? Uh, definitely was. Okay, you are yeah, too. Oh, Back no in the question. Day. At Disneyland, no I saw a guy, and then the funny part is James t tweeted me a, a different Sonics jersey that somebody else had tweeted. But while I was there, I saw a guy wearing a Sonics jersey. That's dope. And I couldn't get up to him to get a picture with him because he was just too far like, away. Oh, Sonics. I well, I tried, but he was too far away. Because uh. <laughs> we were we were getting off the ride, and he was down there. I I uh, I'm, I I have I'm about to buy a beanie. I just saw online a Sonics beanie. Nice. It's awesome. An it's old awesome school one. Too. Yeah. Old yeah. School. Nice. Nice. So okay. All right. So that's enough of that nonsense. Uh, Con congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Tres have fun. In, have fun in Tres Russia. Tres have fun in Russia. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going? I don't know, man. It's that'd maybe. be awesome. That would never know. No, ever, never. I, I want to. And, uh, I've never had. If I do, it would be something where I take my dad or something. Yeah. You know? It's a couple of years, so I have enough time. You have two years. Yeah. yeah I mean, so. the best way is to go into Czech Republic and fly over and go back. Really? Yeah. If you're gonna do it, is that why so? Or yeah, Russia's a, a harsh place. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not known for diversity. Oh, okay. Uh, no, no, I you know, I had a customer there. They that don't I was have tacos over there. They actually do, and I'll tell you, in Moscow, there's a delicious Mexican one of, the, one of the few me Mexican restaurants I've ever had in Europe. It's hard to find in Europe. Yeah. In Moscow, they, they have it, and I, I think the secret is, is that uh, Russian sour cream is similar. Uh, and so I think yeah. that that's the secret of why. But in Moscow, you can buy it, and it's expensive, but the most delicious $15 taco you'll ever have. <laughs> In, in Europe, <laughs> Moscow, Moscow, Moscow is not cheap. Expensive in Russia. That's the other aspect. What? Like yeah. It's a oh. very expensive place. Oh yeah. What? Yes. It's expensive. Damn. <laughs> yeah. So you're probably not going to Mexico. Yeah, probably. Or Russia, I mean. No, but I, you know what? Uh, has it been determined who we play? The Sounders play in, in uh, Champions next spring? Is it summer? Uh, Club America. No, no. Yeah, no, not yet. But it'll be at Azteca. It, it, oh, so it is going to be. Oh, well, no? I'm pretty sure. We're pretty sure. It's would, not yet, but we'll know at the end of the month. Yeah. I want to go to that one. Yeah, I would. Concacaf. Yeah, yeah, Concacaf. Yeah, for CCL. Yeah, I would definitely. do I that. haven't even been to Mexico City myself. Ever? I was born in Guadalajara. Ever, ever. Really? You've been there more I than I have. No, I've no, I've, not, I've been to uh, Leon. I have not been to Mexico, Mexico City. City? So I flew through Mexico oh, City. Nice. Yeah, very fun. Yeah. How long ago? What was it for? A business trip? Uh, no, fun. Fun nice. friends. Uh, good times. We. I saw uh, Chivas play uh, a Champions League game against Pumas, and uh, oh wow, it, there was like maybe. 
ten, like no, five thousand people in the entire stadium. Oh, really? It was empty. What? Uh, and uh, my seats cost five dollars. General seats cost maybe two. Uh, we were in a gated area, and they wouldn't let us over to the general admission area. Uh, I had to bribe a, uh, a guard, arm guard, to let me into the area. And he pretty much said, if, if you get hurt, uh, you're, you're on I'm your helping own. you. Everyone was so cool. Yeah. Uh, they were stoked to see soccer fans, Americans. Uh, That's cool. It was really fun. That's cool, dude. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about going down there as a Sounders fan to Azteca. Dude, it'll be fine. Oh, okay. I'm sure. Famous last words. Well, you're, you're with another Mexican. You'll be fine. <laughs> you'll be fine, so dude. So do, do I get, like, honorary Mexican citizenship? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, I'm like, like okay. I see all these people with me. They're all honorary brown right now. <laughs> no, Don't we're honorary, honorary, brown, honorary brown. brown. We're honorary brown right now. Let's go. So we're not bringing Lee is what you're saying. <laughs> I mean, you know what? We'll bring a, a spray tan. <laughs> 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 you know? All right. All right. So uh, we're 8-11. We've still got a little bit of time left. Um, let's talk a little, uh, a little bit about the, the Sounders, Sounders too. So, if you guys don't mind, let's go and dive into that. Um, this podcast, why not? Yeah, yeah, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever. You know, we have a little bit of fun. So, S two quickly. They obviously, since the last time we were on, have uh, bowed out um, of the tournament. Right. Uh, LA Galaxy two is in line right now to play for the championship, which I don't like. I versus agree. the Ro- Ro- Rochester uh, Rhinos. Ezra, uh, Roger, yes, uh, got named uh, yeah, Ezra, assistant yeah. coach on his national team. Yes, for, um, that's so fantastic. Long, I can't pronounce it. Uh, Saint Vincent. Saint Vincent. Oh no, Vincent and Grenada. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's awesome. That's cool. Good job for him. A couple of uh, players have tweeted out uh, or Instagrammed or Facebooked out pictures. So uh, Lim or Yim from South Korea is not coming back. It looks like this for next year. Yeah, and it looked like Pablito. Uh, have we said anything official, though? Because all I saw was that he went with his friends to the airport to go home, and we'll see him again. But I... He's not... Oh, he did. Okay. Yeah, see, I, I've been, I was gone. Oh, he responded? Yeah, he's not coming back. That's what it looked like when I, what I That's saw. That's what I saw, too, but I was, I was on vacation, so I wasn't trying to check too much, and I saw that, and it was really bumming me out, Damn, so I turned it off. that sucks, man. Yeah. I, Pablito was one of my favorites. I know Dude. he would kind of had a rough end of the year. Yeah. Uh, he never really bulked up, I think, like they wanted to, and he had a little bit too much, maybe, of the South American attitude, for lack of a better way to put it. I, so, I can see that. Yeah. Um, yeah. That sucks, man, because he had a beautiful I, skill on those free yeah, kicks. Yeah, I liked him a lot. He was always dangerous. Yeah, me too, man. Um, but yeah. it was fun. It was a great season, I think. I thought it was a great season. The it was. playoffs. Um, no, oh, Zach Wani yeah, News. Assistant coach, Tacoma Stars. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Zach yeah. Wani's assistant coach for Tacoma oh. Stars. Congrats, the, Steve. Shout uh, out. The Tacoma Stars have done a lot of very interesting Signings for players, and now obviously Steve Zakawani is a coach. Yep. They're really they're really trying to hit it hard, which is yep. cool. It's cool to see. Um, Who uh, the same owner owned them in the last couple years? Yes, and yep. then Darren is the coach. Yep. Still, and then I can't think of the owner's name now. It's terrible, but um, but yeah, so that's great. So it's good, good for them. We gotta but go check them out. Uh, oh, we should. We need to. We goal. are absolutely going to Stars game. Go, go yeah, check I, out a match. my first uh, interaction with soccer as a young. Young uh, boy was uh, I was a Comets fan from Kansas City, and we played the Tacoma Stars uh, with Steve Jungle nice. and Precky, and they would Precky. just they would just Damn. come they would come to Kansas City uh, Kemper Arena and just school us. I mean, yeah. Jungle would, would would pop four goals no problem. <laughs> Precky would be you know three or four. It was pretty amazing. And he's coaching cool. uh, in uh, USL now. Too. Sacramento. No, did he just move though? I think he left. Did he leave Sacramento? Yeah, he just left towards the end of the season. He left. I can't remember where. Yeah, he left, but he was with Saturday. You're right, absolutely right. I'd love to meet that guy again. I met him once. He wasn't very friendly. Mm. Uh, it was, you know, I, I, really. Yeah, he just was kind of cold, like, huh. like very like. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm okay. Yeah, he was yeah, prickly. <laughs> yes. prickly he was. <laughs> so it's this is going to be interesting because every year in November, or well, most likely in December and January, we go through the Sounders one, you know, or the, 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 the Sounders uh, team. Uh, new players, yep. old players leaving, et cetera, retiring or yeah. traded or let go. Who do we get to see? Who do we And now we have to, to do it with S2 as well. So yeah. it's already started. It'll be interesting to see what but happens. But maybe some players may go to S2 and stay. Correct. And maybe we'll get some more of it. Like as uh, yeah. Kyle just said, 
uh, maybe we'll get more spots for the, the academy kids and do a little bit more there to kind of build up the academy system, which is really kind of what the intent is, right? Is to build that up. Yeah. He said uh, Pablito's age might have been a factor, factor. In, his, in the How choice. Old is he? 23, 21. Four. No, 21. 23 or 24. Oh, okay. So 22, 23, whatever. He's older. Oh, okay. He's a couple older years older, there. yeah. Okay. So, again, it makes sense. And let's bring some more kids up yeah. and let's get some more kids involved and let's get them an opportunity to grow and succeed. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see somebody like a Jones and some of those guys get more time down below. and at, Not that below, but at S2 yep. for next year. But that's just my own humble opinion because they're not quite fully game ready for that next level, in my opinion. Uh, as a fan, know, as a fan, they, they got uh, they got opportunities this year, but we saw that we saw their <laughs> yeah. our bad run that it just what they weren't ready. No, so they, and they weren't ready to be the the the, the star by yeah. themselves. Yeah, they it's still made it good in U.S. US Open Cup. They yes. made further than I thought they would. I agree. It's like hundred percent agree. I mean, they, there was one game away from having that oh, potential. Oh my god! I know. <laughs> I know. Ugh. So okay, um, how about Sounders? Should we talk Sounders? Let's talk a little bit. Yeah. What a, what a year! So we went in Man. as the Supporter Shield, you know, champs. reigning champs. You know, top of the league. We we went out and spent a bunch of money, got some good players. Started off started on off fire this year. Carried, carried being the top team. Yeah. The I first, mean, the yeah. first third. Until May. And well, actually, sorry. Until June, whatever that day was, the the, the, the red card day. God. Until then, we were Those far and away. Those that were there, never we going to forget that. We were the best team that. in the league. Yeah. Uh, and then lost to, uh, uh, Dempsey, obviously. Oba. Oba. Yeah. And uh, then the worst run. I think that was the worst the of whole all summer. the bad runs we've had. Ever. That's for it me felt the, worst. the most painful one. Was it 1 9 0? I think it wasn't it? Like something like that. We one went win. 30 days without a win. Dude. Yeah. And a we had whole nine. Month. It seems that second third over the years since we've started, that second third is our hardest. Yeah. Always. Yeah. And then we pick it back up at the end. Yeah. But the first third seems strong. Always. Yeah. Yeah. And and then we had a pretty good run here as of late. Yep. Yeah. Um, the LA game, we were at Disneyland, and uh, we were watching on my phone. We watched the first half of the room, and then we went back to the stadium or the stadium. We went back to the park. the park to to finish the night off. Oh, now now I remember. Trying to remember six days and having not written down what we did every day, <laughs> it's really hard. So Look now I'm now I remember now. Okay, because my in-laws had flown in that day, so we dropped my son oh, nice. off with them. They stayed in the room. And my wife and my mom and my daughter and I went back to the stadium, or stadium, back to the park. <laughs> and while we were going through, I wasn't really, I was watching on the phone. And when we got to the end, I streamed it. I streamed what I could. <laughs> and we got on a ride and it was zero. It was one to zero. They were winning in like the 90th minute. And by the time we got off the ride, big, a big Thunder Mountain, Chad Barrett had scored. And it was like, it was, yes, amazing. It was awesome. Oh, dude, oh my it was God, so it was so <laughs> great. Um, but so we've had a good run. We, we, we have Houston this Sunday. Away at Houston at 2 p.m. Yep. And then the following Sunday is RSL here at home. So we have two games left. I think we need to win. I think we need three points to right. to clinch One win, to yep. put it over. Which we sat here a few weeks ago and said if we get six, six, seven points out of the last three games and we've got one yeah. with six more sitting there. Yep. And we're making it in the playoffs. Uh, we should, man. Lock, knock on wood. I think we should win this. This is this one of weekend. the tightest years I've ever, I've yeah. ever seen. It's insane. Like, I mean, last year we came down in the end to win the supporter shield, but the top the top six were already set a couple weeks before. Exactly. This year, it's it even even a team like us. Is, yeah, is there? It's crazy, yeah. man. Like, yeah, literally uh, every weekend it seemed like two teams moved up and down, up and down, up and down. It's when you don't win in July and you don't win in August, or you win one game. And you're still sitting in the spot we're sitting in. Yeah, it's a pretty damn good place to be sitting in. It's not not too shabby, man. Not too just shabby. Got chills, just got chills. I know. Chills. <laughs> All right. So, uh, back to real quick here. A uh, couple more comments from Kyle. Uh, we had some fantastic pickups in, pickups in the summer yeah, this year and losses too, man. God. Yeah. The injuries, worst injury year ever, maybe. Sure seems like it. Torres is out, obviously. Uh, you know he's back. I mean, I, I when I oh, and these guys know. I love Oba and Oba thighs and everything else. Torres. But when Torres stepped on the field that first Ugh. the first time, because I watched him trying to beat Mexico, I and remember. I was loving that. I remember. I was not loving him at the uh, time. I know you were. <laughs> but he's, I was like, damn. And I called him a gazelle, and everyone laughed at me. And You know, you know what I meant, though. I mean, he was such a fluid – he's just such a presence out there. I can't wait to get him back. He is yeah. going to be such a great yeah. presence on the field. But then you have someone like Brad Evans who kind of steps in and does whatever he needs to do. And Zach Scott – 
who had a rough game against LA in that pass, but but still at at what is he 112 or something like that now? Yeah. I mean, he's such a legend. He's always there. For he's us. always there such for a us. Legend. So many great players. So many great opportunities. I don't know, man. It's like, considering. I think it, it, it's been a one of those years that you're you're tested. You know, for your your you're, you're like. For, not tested as your as a fan, but tested because you're so frustrated because you know that your team could do so much, yep. so well, but it, so many negative things have come against it. But I don't know, man. Sometimes I think more often than not, it's teams that get hot at the end yep. that do well in the playoffs. So Montreal, we can get man. in, man. Yeah. I mean, there's a yeah. So you're you're, you're looking at it right now. Yeah. 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 And that's just yeah. insane because they were in the bottom of the table for the first like six weeks. They were in the open. You know, they were yeah. in the uh, Concacaf run. And it was like, oh, they might win that, but they're not gonna. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. Now. Oh yeah, because yeah, Montreal started out terrible. That's right. Yeah, and, and I mean, it, it's all that midseason acquisition that they yep. got a forty-eight-year-old guy and. Dude, he's been he's point. been insane. Drogba Dude. has been yeah. insane. Where was he before in China? Yeah. Yeah, China. Uh, Shenzhen. Um, but yeah, if you, if you like, okay, so so you pulled it up. It's basically down to L or New York and FC Dallas. For the supporter yeah. shield, right? Uh, That's LA can still LA do can it still with, do with, it with, with, with a yeah rhythm. But, um, but what's crazy is New York has to play Toronto, and Toronto's fighting for a last spot. Right. So that's not going to be an easy game. No. Nope. If New York wins, I thought uh, Toronto already had clinched. No, Toronto's Toronto in. Forty six. Yeah, right they're at forty six. Clinch? No, they're still sitting above the red line, and they're comfortably above the red line. But they need they need points to oh, to, to get okay. them officially so, in. So Wednesday is going to be pretty pretty. pretty it's going to be awesome. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. The I love it. Team versus Brazil too here, is it this one? Oh, Wednesday night. That's right. It is. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep. That's right. So it's huge. It is. But um, it's funny when we went to Vancouver and brought back the cup. We were on a streak. I think it was that weekend and the next weekend where every game went our way. Yeah. And we were sitting there going, "Holy shit, we could still bring this guy I home." Know. I know. Yeah. And it was like, it. I mean, I and, we, and you and I were talking about that point, tra- trying to schedule a date for this. Yeah. And when we scheduled that date, I'm thinking. We could be sitting here talking Still, about, I mean, like, I mean, it, everything had to go kind of our way. Yeah, yeah. But it was like, we could do this. Yeah. Let's hope for a, a loss from New York, Dallas, Galaxy, Vancouver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we are actually officially out now, though, unfortunately. Yeah. After the last weekend. Is it official? It is official. It is. Because we're at 47. We can only get 53. So, and I think they're at 54. Boom. So, I think as of Sunday, we lo- when we taught, when we drew... That was the uh, that was the end of our run. The shield, it's the it's shield, it's the shield run. So Love the shield's you. out for us, which we, is okay. You know, because and we know this is your best home. We're coming out, other than Taurus, who's out for the rest of the year, obviously, and part maybe part of next year. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. We Hopefully are coming not. out of a time that, knock on wood, there's no more U.S. call ups for now. I don't think Dempsey's going back for no. a while. Evans is there tomorrow, but he'll be back. We're going into Houston pretty damn well, uh, full strength. Yeah. You play Houston, got a team that off. is basically yeah, out. basically eliminated. Yeah, they're all but eliminated. I think Kubo's there's not a there miracle. Anymore, right? No, he's not. Kubo? Yeah, he's he's, there yeah he is. He's is there he still now. there? Yeah, he's, but he, has, he hasn't done anything actually. No. When I think about it, so they're basically out. They're a team we can beat. We got to go in there and get the points. Knock on wood, but Por- Portland plays tomorrow or Wednesday, and that that'll be a big game. They play. I think they play Vancouver, right? No, no, they play San Jose. Ooh. Yeah, Vancouver plays San Jose else, uh, on Wednesday. Is no, Real Salt Lake. Sorry, Real Salt Lake. Yeah. Is Portland still in? So They're either still in the playoff. They are nah, barely. Me- uh. So either we want a meteor or a draw in that game. Correct to get to get us going well. I'll take a meteor. Yeah, I'll take a totally <laughs> take a meteor. I told that to my daughter yesterday. We were watching. <laughs> uh, we were watching the San Francisco Giants game last night, and uh, the, 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 the 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 49ers Giants game. Last night on, on on Sunday Night Football, and my my, da- my daughter's like, "So who do you want to win?" And I'm like, me, uh, "Team Meteor." And she, <laughs> she looked at me going, "Like what?" And I'm like, "I would like a Meteor to come into the stadium right now." <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I'll take a comet. Yeah, a comet. Let's do comet. A comet. So all right. Where's my comet? Oh, where's I come from Kansas City. Ah, that's uh, okay. So how do you, so are you a baseball fan? I well, you are a baseball fan. I knew that. Sorry, a dumb huge question. Baseball fan. Dumb question. Are you a, are you a Royals fan? I am a Mariners fan first. Yes. Yeah, of course. And then it starts doing some division. Uh, I'm a Cubs fan second. 
I'd be a Royals fan third. Really? No, I'm, I'm a Cubs fan too. Yeah, they're. Funny. I think everybody's a Cubs fan this year. Yeah. Back to the Future too. Yep. yep. Right. Yep. I went to uh, 2007. Uh, I went to Chicago, uh, visited a cousin that I met the year before at my brother's wedding. I didn't even know I had this cousin, and she was super cool and awesome. Uh, shout out to Carla in Chicago. Uh, not that she'll ever watch this, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, I went to, and I, I just got a chance to be at Wrigley Field, and it was cool everything place. that everybody had said. It was majestic. Yep. It felt special. It felt old school. Yep. It felt like you were, like, you know, not in the modern day, you know, baseball stadium. Sat in the, behind the Ivy walls. I had a, uh, they make Mai Tais. At that time, I guess the Mai Tais were what they're known for behind the Ivy walls. <laughs> so I had a Mai Tai. The bleacher bums? Yeah. They would bring Mai Tai? Like yeah, maybe. you go, instead of getting beers and stuff, you go get a Mai Tai. <laughs> the bleacher bums? Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, dude. I, I was Holy like, are you cow. serious? Yeah. It was, it was, it was cool. All right, so we're, we're kind of getting towards the end of the show. Very good. Any last comments you want to make? Anything you want to say? Um, I mean, you know, I mean, thank you so much for yeah, joining us and coming out and t- telling us your story. I know yeah, it's, man. I, I've got my <laughs> own story that I tell, and I love telling it, so hopefully you don't mind yeah. uh, sharing your story and bringing it out. I mean, I feel so lucky to be where I'm at right now in terms of a healthy person that can, uh, can just go to work. I mean, that's the, one of the hardest parts about uh, when you're when you're fighting something like cancer, is it takes your whole life, and uh, so you learn a point there that just going to work becomes uh, an amazing thing to do. And I'm at that point now where it's like you know I can go to work, uh, my partner can go to work, my family can go to work, and and ultimately uh, I couldn't have done that without the support of uh, my friends, my family, uh, uh, and the people around. So I, that's that's ultimately the story that's most important to myself here. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. I love it. Oh, Absolutely. Love man. It. Yeah, cheers, man. Cheers. cheers. Absolutely. C- congratulations. Yes. Well, you are welcome on the show anytime, obviously. Yes, sir. Uh, we had talked about for many years now, and I know you're not in the currently in the, the leadership of, of, of the day-to-day, at least I don't think, in, in Gorilla, et cetera. Oh, yeah. But, uh, but you're still you know, a founding member, obviously, or the, the co-creator. Or, uh, yeah, what's I'm your a title? founding member yeah. on the board. On the board. Okay, so. great. Uh, obviously, Tom is, you know, we love Tom. Tom's a good friend of the yeah, show. So Tom and Andrew. Are Andrew, really great they're there. great, great guys. Um, so you're welcome on the show anytime. We still want to do a big roundtable one, 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 one of these yeah. years. We want to try and get like a, like a, like a WWE style supporter group, like, you know, <laughs> at t- conversation. Not really WWE. I'm joking, but I say that. Royal Rumble. Like, Royal Rumble. Yeah, Royal Rumble <laughs> kind of style. Fun over the top. Yeah. yeah, over the, yeah. <laughs> But more of like a, you know, for everyone to get together because it's yeah. there's a lot of of different groups out there and there's a lot of good people in all the groups and uh, yeah, I mean I love so it all, I love having all the groups together. Me too. And when I get a chance to meet people that for some reason I've I've not gotten to meet, yep. maybe due to my own reasoning. Yep. I always find the beauty in them. And exactly. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's like cool. I'm so glad I overstepped that boundary. Yep. And that's what we like. We, we, we always like doing that. Yeah. So um, to Kevin to the pretty baby back here. Seventeen thousand dollars to fundraise. We did it by scarf sales. All of it by scarf? Uh, well, yeah, yeah. So really? uh, each team uh, got a. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> each team got a uh, hundred scarves. Okay. And then they sold it at twenty bucks a pop. Yeah. In order to get that scarves, they they bought them on the back end at twenty bucks a pop. And so it was an even exchange, and okay. all the money went through uh, Kansas City Foundation. Great. Uh, we're actually working on right now on getting the old shield, uh, which was in uh, San Jose. The one that was in bad shape after yeah, Miami? Was, yeah. It was, uh, and they, we did fix it a little bit, right. but not. Uh, and putting it in a, a museum, oh, which nice. would be at Sporting KC's Park. Okay. Um, because they, they, they founded the original. Yep. Right. So putting it back there. Um, that's kind of what one of the things that we're working on nice. on the, the back end. Um, I've had to make a phone call or two to uh, the president of uh, San Jose, the earthquakes. Uh, that was that's always fun and uh, uh, that, that guy is a very funny guy on Twitter. He's very funny, very he loves Tesla. Very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> a very interesting fellow. Mm-hmm. Very Little interesting. Dave. Yeah, yep, exactly. So all right. He, uh, uh, Hugo, any last words? Uh, Go ahead, say it. Tres a dos. Okay. <laughs> Tres a dos. Tres a dos. It was a friendly I had to, man, I had to. No, I'm okay with that. It's no. okay. That's okay. Yeah. 
Uh, and again, we are taking applications for uh, new host, guest hosts. No, I'm just kidding. It's been, it's been <laughs> great. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We're not getting rid of you. Nah. As much as you want, you're not. We're not getting rid of you. It's good to know. Nine it's times soon. Uh, you guys but have done amazing. I, I mean, I, I've seen where you guys have come from. Yeah. That first time at a San Jose game, I was at the Dre, <laughs> um, and they didn't have the game on TV. Obviously, because right. no one did. Uh, but we, uh, Jamie, at the Dre hooked it up through a cord, and we all drank delicious beers of the Dre watching your feed. <laughs> so awesome. And yeah, and it was funny because I, I, uh, I had probably like 200 followers, maybe if that, and I'd been on Twitter for a while but not really done anything, and it was hilarious because I got back to the room that night, and I had like 10,000 mes- me- mentions. <laughs> well, that wasn't that many, but it was like, it was insane. And I was looking at the, the feed, million. and I'm like, Holy shit, there's like <laughs> 700 people. It went from like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred people. And, that, and then I, was, I found out later. I, I wasn't even in the show at that point. I was watching yeah. it too at home. I was like, right. oh man, the game's on. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was just kind of like showing the ECS and we were singing. And then someone told me, show the game because they can't see it. And I'm like, what do you mean they can't see it? They can't see the game. So I turned around and you couldn't see jack shit on there. But I heard later that like the Atlanta Crossing, the Dre, the Georgian Dragon, the whatever, blah, blah, blah. It was like four or five of them. And I'm thinking like, you're watching this? And we were we were not we were not PG. We were not PG-13. We were probably R-ish. We were sober because they didn't serve, well, we were sober-ish. Because they, did, they didn't serve beer at the stadium or alcohol. So, but, uh, oh, yeah. So from that little, tiny little, like, happenstance of lucky opportunity and we're still streaming games too and like, we're still streaming games and well, that games. one there was a boxing match that turned into a soccer game yes right <laughs> that's right because uh eddie johnson supposedly uh, right. hit somebody uh, on the other side yeah so oh man <laughs> so many good memories so um but we're just we're thankful you came down tonight thanks yep. thanks for bringing it down the the, the baby again yeah and, no uh, i'm flying on right now given a win for new york on wednesday uh, I am flying to Philadelphia, and we are taking the shield to, to New, New York. York. So New Jersey, I mean, justification. Yeah. You'll be New back. Jersey, home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I've actually been to that stadium. It's a nice stadium. It's great. I, I wish New they Jersey's would fill never it. looked better. I wish they would fill it, but yeah. it's a nice stadium. Yeah. I drove by, or no, I took the train by it on my way to the Super Bowl. So I think. It's oh, good. that's right, because you were over in that area. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, we stayed by the airport, New Jersey. So last question, then I think this is the last question here, from from Kyle. Who do you think is the Sounders team MVP this year? Oba. Oba. Oba, Oba no question. Yeah. <laughs> no question. Oba's gone. We lose, lose, Oba's lose, back lose. And he's scoring in every game yeah. except for last one. But we're just a little above Portland if Oba's not here. Yeah, right. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. I mean, he is. Uh, the best player in the MLS? Yes. I, I mean, as far I think as an MVP to the t- to your team, oh, you see hands what down. Does. I mean, Ke- Keen's amazing and. Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Kamara. Toronto. Kamara's been a fantastic. Gian Calvo or Gian Vaco Yeah, or he's he's. Ama- I mean, you've got him number, but to his team and to get him where they're going, Oba's the best. I yeah, mean, he, he brings his team up, the whole team up. He's, so he's we're lucky. Beast, we're lucky dude. to have yeah. that quality in this league. I, totally. Yeah. I was telling my dad like like the two before. That I was like, I wish he could play for the Mexican national team, man. Exactly. <laughs> 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 like, let's go. Because he's not playing for Nigeria, so it would be yeah. awesome to see yeah. that. But, uh, <laughs> That's crazy he's not playing. I know. I mean, it, Poli- it's politics. It's it's politi- it's yeah, that coach there, and they got in a fight and then had a breakup. It's so dumb. So dumb. And we don't know how old he is. But it's okay. I like him not oh, playing. Oh, no, me too. I'm okay. I know. Oh, yeah. Keep him but up Again, there. we've talked about this on the show for years. Would we rather have a team that is good enough to be okay, or would we rather, would we rather have the opportunity where we have where we had uh, Yedlin and Evans – uh, I mean, obviously, Yedlin's gone. Uh, a Deuce, uh, potentially an Oba. You got Torres, who came in, and he's gone. To yeah. pa- Papa. Uh, Saturday, et cetera, three et cetera, sounders were on the pitch, man, so at the same time. I'd rather have that, personally. And then you fill them in with some of our, our, our youth and our excitement that we're building up here. But it's going to be a very interesting thing to look at S2 and S1 and where MLS wants to be. If they want to be a top 10 league and they want to be in that, that league, this, this this bringing up and I know Kyle's watching still. You bring up the kids, you have the kids, and etc. But it's MLS. It, it impacts the national team too. It does because like a lot of people said, yeah, get Klingsman out. But who? 
You need Herrera. the players, man. Herrera. <laughs> no, but and what's the replacement value? Yeah. No. I mean, uh-huh. hey, given what we have, replacement yeah. value is big. Uh, listen, I was on Siggy out. We know this. <laughs> when they started, when they started <laughs> Shalry Joseph, that pissed me off to no end. <laughs> I've been off that cheering since they he came and talked at yeah. at the uh, at the final meeting. Because who yeah who do you bring in after S- yeah. Siggy? I would I would promote Brian. What sure, was the crap about this guy Christ or Crease or whatever? Yeah, what, J- what was Jason. that? Was that a joke or what was that? I, somebody one of the one of the one of the hosts of Fox one of the or the announcers made a comment about how there was a trade potential Siggy to New York and and, and Jason to New York, to here. Hell no. Yeah. Great coach, but great coach, yeah. but that's not gonna. I mean, nah. it's, it was just a guy talking out of his uh, ass. No, nah, New York I mean, invested in Crease. He's yeah, he's a, he's there for a while. He's no, there. he's he's building a program. Right. I mean, they're, they're and they've the turned exactly. Uh, they're and, yeah. And maybe they'll have a stadium next in, in four in, years, <laughs> yeah. or maybe one day. <laughs> Twenty years. So in New Jersey. Oh uh, man! All right. So to Kevin, to the yeah. Shield, Hugo, Aaron. Thank you for coming on the show. Yeah, man. Thank you, guys. Folks, we'll be back next week. Yeah. Uh, unless something major happens in the meantime, but our goal is to be back next week. No question. Uh, we do have a couple of guests we're working on, and we have to seal them up. But uh, thank you again, Kevin, for coming on. Thanks for having me. Congratulations yes. on <laughs> hashtag fuck cancer beating it. Kicking and thank and good job. fucking ass. Thank you. So thank I, you. I have done it without my support. Awesome. Okay. So. Thanks, boys and girls. We'll see Later you soon. guys. You're watching the sonar feed and I have no idea what I'm talking about.